Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. While India is yet to field its fifth generation fighter jet, America has started working on sixth generation fighter jet program. Recently, during Zhuhai Air Show, China has also showcased model of its sixth generation fighter jet concept and even some Chinese experts are claiming that China's sixth generation fighter jet could possibly take its first flight by 2026 or 2028 and inducted into PLA Air Force by 2035. This timeline is matching with India's indigenous fifth generation fighter jet program AMCA. So theoretically, India is a generation behind China in terms of fighter jet technology. While there has been a lot of buzz around the sixth generation fighter jet what is expected from this program is extremely sensitive information and nations want to remain tight-lipped on this however there are very few high level information available on sixth generation fighter jet program which we'll be discussing today us is much ahead in terms of fighter jet technologies and china is trying its best to catch up india is also trying its best to match up its technical capabilities with china however the financial challenges of indian government are bigger india will have to become economic superpower to fuel its military growth as per the world bank estimate india will become 10 trillion economy in next 25 years as per 2021 data us has gdp of 23 trillion and china 17.71 trillion whereas india has gdp of just 3.2 trillion these figures are in dollars so india has to fast track a lot its economic growth in order to compete with china okay so this was about finance let's get back to the discussion of sixth generation fighter jet program the technology benchmark for this discussion will be us angard or next generation air dominance project The origin of Angard program dates back from 2014 when US Department of Defense has mentioned an interest in building a new X-plane prototype. 6 years later, that is on September 15, 2020, US Air Force Acquisition Executive Dr. Will Roper announced that Air Force had flown a full-scale flight demonstrator as part of Next Generation Air Dominance program. The announcement came as a surprise to many as Angard program was believed to be an early phase of technology development and it was unusually fast to design and build a military aircraft. Angard is budgeted at 9 billion dollars from 2019 to 2025. In the financial year 2021, the budget of 1 billion dollar was allocated and a request of 1.5 billion dollars was made for the financial year 2022 so the design philosophy behind angard program is air dominance together with enhancements in survivability lethality and persistence which will be achieved via five major technologies us has disclosed only one out of five major technologies and remaining four are secured in vault The one acknowledged technology is propulsion and US Air Force has heavily invested in variable cycle engines. The other expected features of Angard is going to be new form of stealth advanced weapons including directed energy weapons and thermal management. The current engine of F35 and its variant is expected to be on B21 bomber. produces a tremendous amount of electrical power that can enable the new weapons the pratt and whitney f135 engine produces 120 kN of dry thrust and 182 kN of thrust with afterburner more powerful engine requires advanced techniques to manage heat which is generated so that it does not become part of aircraft's signatures and makes the plane easier to detect angard could take the form of a single aircraft or a number of complementary systems which is a combination of manned unmanned optionally manned cyber electronic forms that would not resemble the traditional fighter for example a large aircraft the size of a b21 raider may not maneuver like a fighter 
but large aircraft carrying a direct energy weapon with multiple engines making substantial electric power could ensure that no enemy flies in large amount of airspace and this is air dominance the future of air power pairs large number of collaborative mission focused and cost imposing autonomous unmanned aircraft alongside the most potent human crewed fighters of today and tomorrow recently it has also been revealed that the collaborative combat aircraft cca concept is one of the component of angard program the new manned six generation stealth fighter will likely to control as many as five drones of cca at one time from the cockpit this will enable the fighter jets to dominate the contested airspace magazine depth or surveil the battle space ahead evade detection relay their findings and if necessary take action on their own or in concert with the rest of the force so if we bring back the discussion to india's indigenous program amka it has been planned in two phases amka mark 1 powered by gf414 engine and amka mark 2 powered by indigenously developed 110 to 125 kilonewton thrust engine now due to a less powerful engine the mk mark 1 cannot super cruise at higher mach number so we can also not expect a direct energy weapon on that however amk mark 2 will have six generation fighter jet technologies such as air teaming similar to cca concept of angard program hl is already working with new space to develop cats or combined air teaming system which functions similar to cca concept it has also been reported several times that amka mark 2 will feature direct energy weapon however the major challenge with direct energy weapon is the need of huge amount of power which in turn requires more powerful engine the stealth technologies also need to be advanced in order to hide the increased heat signature of the fighter jet These are some of the challenges which Amka Mark II designer will have to face and to make Amka Mark II future ready. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.